The Elwha is where I grew up. It's my home. It's where I have my roots. It's also where my family has their roots. Growing up along the Elwha River, I could only see the beauty of everything that it was. But after learning more about the river, learning more about the environment, I see how much the ecosystem has been manipulated by people. I love the entire Elwha ecosystem because it's where all my favorite wildlife are. The black bears, the bald eagles, the mountain lions. I can also see how much it's been changed. People who worked here say that they saw fish, salmon, swim all the way up to the dam and just circle around because they couldn't get any farther. The dam was such a significant part of my grandpa's life. He worked for the company for his entire career. As a tribal member, my grandma was definitely an advocate for dam removal. She wanted to see them come out, and she wanted to see the salmon populations return to the way that they were historically, the way that she'd seen them in her lifetime. My grandma told me this story about how when she was a young girl, she would walk back to a small side channel of the Elwha that ran through their property. The creek that ran through their property would just be bubbling over with Chinook salmon. The fish were at least 100 pounds. I don't think my grandpa ever imagined the dams being removed at all. I never knew that I would be getting into restoring the river after the dams had been removed. When the reservoirs were dewatered, the entire lake bed was basically a moonscape. It was just rocks. There was no vegetation. There were huge stumps. Elwha restoration has been a really unique situation for scientists to be able to study. This is the largest dam removal project ever. In the Elwha, we're watching an entire ecosystem, an entire watershed being restored. I just feel so fortunate to be here and to have seen the lead up to dam removal, to watch dam removal take place, and now see this amazing regeneration. I also feel lucky that I work for the tribe because they care so much about this. So I've been looking since I came to the tribe for promising young tribal members who are really interested in wildlife. Another cottonwood is 415. 415? Yes. Okay. And it's uni. Okay. So we're looking at how bird species, beavers, ungulates, specifically deer and elk returning to the lake beds and how they're using that habitat and also their impacts on the habitat. My perspective is to look at interactions between species and between species and their environment. When salmon grow out in the marine environment, they put on all this mass and they become big. And when they swim back up their natal stream, they bring with them this mass of nutrients. When these animals come back into a river, they are consumed by a whole variety of wildlife species. Things like black bears and otters and mink and weasels. When a bear eats a salmon and then moves into the forest, it's bringing with them those nutrients that it has obtained from the salmon carcasses to provide life to these trees.
I just love spending time out on the lake bed. Seeing new plants growing on their own. Lake Aldwell has a cultural significance to the Klallam tribe because on that lake bed is a creation site, an area where the Klallam people believe that the creator made them from stone and that's where the whole tribe began. When I came here as a little kid and I stood on that bridge, I had no idea that something so culturally important, so significant and sacred to the tribe was buried under the lake. We have this common goal. We want to restore the river. And thinking like a scientist, I consider what information do we need that will help us get there? The big picture that I want people to take away is the interconnectedness, that it's not just about salmon, it's not just about plants, it's about the interconnectivity of all of it. It's about the salmon coming from the ocean and feeding that forest. Something I've really learned from Kim is to be inquisitive and open-minded and really think outside the box. River restoration has so many different elements to consider. It's such a vast project. Over the past three years, I've gotten to see some major changes. I just love that I can be a part of such a significant restoration in a place that's so important to me.